Hello and welcome back to this European Schoolnet Academy Games in Schools course. This is module three where we're going to be talking about learning games. And learning games are games that have been specifically designed to help improve your knowledge or a skill set or a little bit of both. In this short video we're going to be talking about simulation games and I have to say as a former geography teacher it was simulation games that really got me thinking about how we could apply games-based learning in the classroom. You see I was quickly able to see the link between perhaps one of the most famous simulation games of all time, SimCity, and how I might be able to use this game to help teach my classes about urban geography and settlement theory. And it really did have a revolutionary impact on my classroom and what I was able to do with my learners. SimCity has actually been around now for over 30 years, and you can download the original version straight off the internet. It's also available on a range of mobile apps and games consoles, and also on, of course, a desktop PC. The interesting thing about the mobile version is it means that you're not tied to where you play it, and also the time of day that you play it as well. Now, this presents some interesting challenges in terms of game addiction, which we'll talk about in Module 6, but also it presents some interesting opportunities in terms of assessment. Imagine if you were actually in charge of a city, you should never really be off duty, or perhaps you need to sort out some kind of rotor to make sure that somebody in the class you know, is available at some other time in order to manage your city and your urban environment. The creation of SimCity also spurred the creation of a number of other simulation games. Perhaps the second most famous is Roller Coaster Tycoon. I really like this game because it allows you to teach about physics, it allows you to teach about maths because of all of the mathematical data in it, not just in terms of the physics of the roller coasters, but also about the amount of people coming in, in into the park, out of the park, the amount of ticket sales, and the amount of other consumer items that you might sell as part of your theme park. But also, I really like the idea that young people can imagine what it's like to be on that roller coaster and to write creatively about their experiences. There are actually lots and lots of different simulators out there. Farm Simulator is another popular one, and there are, of course, lots of different farm simulators out there on the internet. The thing about Farm Simulator is it doesn't just teach you about farming, so it's not just useful for geography teachers. There's also a huge amount of data that's involved, and also lots of interesting things that can be extracted to help teach about climate change. The next few, you might think, are not that relevant to schools, but let me show you them, and then we'll loop back to say why they are. We've got Train Simulator, we've got Euro Truck Simulator, we've got Flight Simulator, and we've also got Forestry Simulator. Now, in the first instance, you might think that none of these simulators are particularly relevant to the curriculum, but they are for a number of reasons. First of all, they expose young, they expose young people to different types of jobs that they might not be old enough to do yet because they involve the use of heavy machinery or indeed driving. And secondly, they allow young people to explore new and rich landscapes in different ways. So they provide a really, really good context, again, for creative writing and for literacy skills. And thirdly, and I know that I've mentioned this a lot already, is that these types of simulations spit out data. And if they're spitting out data and you can collect that data, that becomes a great, great context for teaching about numeracy. Talking about numeracy, there have been lots of success over the years with the simulation game Football Manager and how you can use the numeracy data for that to engage young people in different mathematical lessons. And in my personal experience, this has been particularly useful for engaging boys that perhaps don't normally engage with normal mathematics. Football Simulator is definitely worth checking out and they release a new version of it every single year. Of course, it's not just some of these uh, more relevant simulations. There are other historical simulations as well. For example, Total War Rome 2 um, is a strategy game. And again, not only could you use this as a context for creative writing, but also it might be useful to teach about strategy or different historical contexts to do with war and conflict. And the last one that I wanted to mention is what we call the, uni the, un the universe sandbox. And this is a, a physics-based space simulator where you can explore gravity, you can explore climate, you can explore collisions, and you can explore different types of materials. It's actually pretty mind-blowing when you get your head into this, but again, a really great context for exploring physics and mathematical theory. And lastly, this isn't a simulator as such, but I've always been a really big fan of the Stop Disasters website. It's been around now for over 10 years, but I think the mini games within it are really sim city like in, in nature, but they can also help introduce young people to different types of disasters that happen around the world and how we as human beings might respond to them, both in the short term, the medium term and the long term. For all of these simulators that I've mentioned, I'll make sure that I put the links up on the discussion forums. So that's the end of this short video on simulations. What I would like you to do is this. 
Can you think about a, what, a simulation game that you've played before that might actually be interesting to you in the classroom? Remember, at the end of the next video, we're going to be setting you the weekly task, which is going to be thinking about some of the videos that we've watched and trying to share some of your top tips for all of the other games in schools candidates. Really looking forward to seeing you in the last video of Module 3. Don't forget to use the hashtag GamesCourse to bind that conversation together online.